This is the older Kent Marine Pro Scraper. Uh, they now make a Pro Scraper 2 and the mop attachment has been discontinued which is uh, really disappointing because it does a wonderful job of reaching the glass and does a uh, 5 or 6 inch wide swath at a time. Uh, pop out the scraper which works good on acrylic as well. And snap that in. And now the lights are just coming on so the coils aren't too expanded. But you can see the, the algae here on the pad as it goes. Loosen this up so I can rotate it a little bit. And see, I can reach close to three fourths of the, probably three fourths of the length of my tank, standing in one place. But now I can't go down any further than this with it in the pressure uh, position. I flip it over and I can go pretty much to the bottom. Without hitting my coral. Another thing is reach the top underneath as well. The back and the overflow. It gets up into some pretty thin areas here because I've got less than half an inch behind my spray bar. And it clears it pretty good. Now let's get a side shot so you can see how the uh, scraper works. Here see I'm about to hit my frog spawn. I can keep a little pressure against the glass and rotate it around and go on down past, well past it. With the uh, algae scraper here in the pressure zone position, I can get down to here and I'm just about to smack my frog spawn. Flip it over. And I can go pretty much all the way to the bottom. Still have some pressure on the pad. And with my chalice here, the handle's right about ready to hit. I can't push down any further, so flip it over and it clears dramatically. I can go on down to the bottom as close as I care to get. And I have to worry about damaging the coral. Still can, you just have to be careful with it. <laughs> 